All right, so this is going to be a quick little overview of the final version of the MasterMade Mobile City series, Mobile City Mega Series uh, Titan. Uh, this is, of course, their kind of SD uh, Metroplex that they put out. Uh, if you remember, I reviewed the test shot for it for Lunar Toy Store uh, several months ago, and uh, I had to send that back. Obviously, I, I reviewed it and I sent it right back to them to show off at a New Jersey toy sh toy st show uh, that weekend. But, uh, but but I got a pretty good feel for it, and I wasn't sure I was was I going to pick it up. And then they announced that Trypticon, so I had to get a Metroplex. Um, this just came in stock over at TF Source, and I picked it up over there on the weekend. Actually, on Friday, along with a couple other pre-orders pre that I had shipped. I got the Kabaya Seacons model kits, and I got Make Toys Axel, which we'll be seeing here later. Um, but mostly, like I said, I'm not going to transform through all the modes because I've done that. And... Uh, we're just going to talk about uh, the final product version here. It comes in a really cool little box here with uh, some neat art on the front. And actually a uh, left to right opening Velcro window, uh, just to get you an idea with a cool little picture over here of him. And it shows all his transformations and mag my guns. My guns! Don't touch my guns. But uh, anyway... So yeah, there it is. Uh, now McGuns, obviously, here is just a little Magnus. Uh, he does not transform. He's just uh, slightly posable. He actually, he's actually more posable than I expected. He's got a ball joint on his head, which, uh, again, is a little limited just due to the size of his helmet. But he's got a ball joint there. He's got rotating shoulders. Uh, he can rotate his arms kind of at a bicep swivel, but the elbows don't have articulation. Uh, he's got hips. He's got knees. And he's uh, ball joint hips, hinge knees. And he's even got a ball joint on the foot, so he's got some front to back movement as well as ankle tilt. So yeah, he's, he's just a neat little Magnus that came with him. Uh, Trypticon is coming with a little Megatron in the same vein. He does also come with one extra forearm, so if you want, don't want to have him have two guns, you can pull this off at the post and plug in a little permanently pointing arm so you can have him calling the troops to action, like, over there, the bad guys are over there, da, 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 da. or, you know, sending Metroplex forth. And that's pretty much all there is to say about my guns. Well, actually, I could tell you a lot more about my guns, but nobody wants to hear about my guns. Anyway, <laughs> so on to Titan himself. Uh, like I said, the build quality on the test shot I reviewed was actually pretty solid, uh, for that early of, an, of a test shot, they have tightened up a lot of the looseness, and uh, you can see there's a lot more paint ap applications and, and de details all over the robot. He's got some of those warning, do not step here, but it looks like it may be written in Cybertronian uh, all over him. Uh, but a few more paint apps, as promised, and uh, like I said, they've tightened up some of the, the looseness. Uh, now, I've seen some complaints about people complaining that their legs were too tight, and I do not have that problem. My, my legs rotate and transform, and they're all good. And all the way, and like I said, this is one that just came in stock at TF Source. I don't know if maybe they fixed that mid-run, and and I and I have benefited from that or not, but uh, I haven't noticed a lot of some of the minor, like relatively minor complaints that people have had with him. Um, now, when I got him, one of the magnets had come loose off of his helmet, super glued it back in place, and good to go. Uh, now the helmet does come off, and here's a feature I can show you this time because uh, I don't I don't think it was all there the first time. Uh, or at least I didn't have the batteries for it. Now it takes, I don't know if you can read that, it takes uh, four uh, SR416SW batteries. I think they're also called 337 size batteries. And you can see, just looking at that next to my thumb, it's a very, very tiny battery. And I had some trouble getting them in. Uh, the ones in the head go right in here. And how it works is I, I pulled this little cap off and was trying to slide them directly into the slots in here. And how you're supposed to put them in is you pull this little plastic piece out and, well, oh, see, one fell out. But the batteries actually just sit. You put them in the plastic piece like this, this little clip, and then you just clip it back into place, which uh, is way easier than, uh, than trying to squeeze them in, these tiny, tiny little batteries, into the gap between those connectors. And plus it holds them in place and keeps them from sliding side to side, which is nice. Um, I believe it goes back in like this. And uh, it only goes in one way, so you'll know if you got it right. And also the batteries go in, at least in the head, go in facing the opposite direction from where the instructions show. The instructions make it look like they should be facing, like the uh, indented parts of it should be facing forward, and they actually should be facing toward the back. And I'll show you on the instructions right here. See how it shows the little uh, 
here's the front of his face and it looks like it shows the little divoted side of the battery facing the front and it actually needs to be facing toward the back of the head for it to light up um but yeah then I mean, once that's on you just turn the switch on and his eyes light up and you put the the cap back on now he does have a feature i'm gonna go ahead and pop these guns off his back real quick he's got the angry feature where uh, there's a little lever on the back of his head that if you push it it makes his uh makes his eyes look, look a little angrier and opens his mouth. Um, he's also got some pupils that move side to side. And I don't know how well that's... Yeah, you can, you can kind of see it on camera. Uh, it, it's more obvious. And it's, it's not as... It's more obvious in person versus the camera because you're seeing the, the light coming right into the camera. But you notice a little bit more. But his pupils can move from side to side uh, inside of his head. And uh, you can also, as it's set on the thing... This visor can pop out, and it is clear translucent plastic, so you want to be careful. You just pull it out. It's got you can see these little tabs right here, just kind of slide in. So you just kind of pull it out from the sides, and you can show off. Uh, and it's a little easier to see, as uh, especially uh, in hand versus on camera, it's a lot easier to see those pupils moving inside his head. Where's the lever? Oh, there we go. I was, I was down too low. So you've got that there. Um, also, on his chest, he's got the same, this this piece of his chest lights up. And you have to do a couple of special things to access this. Uh, you don't have to, what's nice about this is you don't have to unscrew anything to insert the batteries. For the head, you just pull this off, pop out the clip, put the batteries in the clip, clip it back in, put the head magnet back on, and you're good to go. For the chest, you have to slide the uh, the arm bits back. And this is a little tricky because the back part's solid. You gotta get your finger on the. You, you gotta grab the white part and slide this back. You can see that whole gray piece. You can't just push on the back of it. You have to grab the gray piece and pull it back. Come on. There you go. Slide those back. Uh, it says to open these up. I'm not sure how this locks it in, but open these up and pull these ramps out. Pull these ramps out and then uh, lift this piece up right here. And then this piece comes out right here. Uh, it just comes out like that. And you've got the same type of clip system here. You just pull this clip out, put the batteries in, and then a little switch right there on top that turns on his chest light, after which you can just plug it right back in. Plug it back in, close everything back up, and there he is, all lit up. So yeah, like I said, wasn't sure if I was gonna if I was gonna pony up for the final version of this bad boy. I checked him out; he's really cool. Um, but with the Trypticon coming, I wanted to have a Metroplex to face off against him. And like I said, the quality has definitely improved from the test shot. Although the test shot was, uh, in and of itself, actually a pretty solid toy, and. Uh, this back on here plug it back into his back and uh like i said the magnets are pretty strong uh you may have i've heard reports of people other people having one of those magnets come loose um like i said mine had come loose in the packaging but it was still in the packaging so uh not that hard it wasn't hard to find and get all fixed and it does you can't uh, you can't pick the uh whole robot up by the magnets but they're strong enough to hold that piece in place um, I, I like that you don't have to unscrew anything to install batteries. They're very easy to replace. That little plug clip system I was showing you that's in the head and also in the chest. Um, so much nicer when you're dealing with tiny, tiny batteries like that. That was actually really easy to get that all set up and going once I figured it out. It took me a while to get the first two batteries in, but then I realized I had done it wrong. So, so yeah. Um, but, yeah, you get that. You get my guns. And you get... Uh, you get the, like you said, the box is really cool. That's part, one of the few boxes I'll actually hang on to. I generally get rid of my packaging these days, but it's a nice looking box, and it's a nice little Metroplex that I'm really looking forward to also having a trip to kind of go with it. Uh, just as a quick size comparison, here he is with the Deluxe Combiner Wars Prowl. I meant to have a couple other figures to size compare with me tonight, and uh, forgot, but I still had Prowl on. So just to give you an idea. So yeah, if you want if you want a full transformation review, the uh, 
the test shot is back and like I said nothing major has changed from the test shot it from, from since the test shot time uh, it has just been kind of tightening joints and uh, adding some paint apps and just re refining it a little bit nothing major has changed on the figure itself but uh, yeah the master made Titan from the mobile city mega series uh, this they also did that SDF one uh, that I reviewed a while back Makuros um, which is uh, or Makaros that uh, was pretty cool too so yeah, there is Titan from Master Maid's Mobile City Mega Series. If you got the cash, definitely worth picking up. It looks really cool. And they've got more coming.